All right, guys. It is Tuesday again. You got me. I've been active on the page all day, hopefully enough. But um, not really. I don't really got too much for this week's video. It's a free topic, so probably just going to ramble on for a little bit, to be completely honest. Um, I just got back from my trip to Edmonton for like five days. I had a hockey game that uh, the Oilers were playing against Vancouver, so it was my first hockey game, so I was pretty excited about that. went with my brother. It's always nice when me and my brother do things together. It doesn't happen too often, but... It's always a fun time when it does. Um, there's nothing really interesting going on in my life right now. I I figured I had uh, what I wanted to do. Layla, get down. I figured I had what I wanted to do for school figured out. I mean, like, I do, I guess, in a way, but uh, there's two options. I want to, at the end of the day, pursue a career in um, the entertainment business. So, like, if that's being, uh, like, going... I know I told everybody I was going into, like, film production, which is still an option. And to be completely honest, if I want to do both of the options that I want to do, I can. Because they're both in Vancouver. So, there's film production and then there's uh, acting. And there's um, a school, another school in Vancouver that does... That focuses strictly on the acting aspect of it. So, I'm honestly thinking about pursuing that one before I do film production because like I said I have the option to do both it's a little bit more of uh, student loans at the end of the day but in my eyes I think it'll be worth it so the steps for the acting school I have to fill out the application which is the easy part and then it takes up to like five to ten business days for them to respond but uh, then I have to, they set up a little bit of an audition process. I'm not quite sure what the audition process is, so I have to wait to, uh, hear back from the school to see, like, uh, what I have to prep myself for. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about that, but, uh, I have a natural chemistry when it comes to entertaining people. It might not seem like that in some of my videos, because being... In front of a camera, I'm a little bit awkward, but I'm uh, getting more comfortable speaking around people and in front of people and in front of a camera. So I think it'll be good for me. It'll just kind of shed more light to that side of me and kind of get me more comfortable because you never really get comfortable with something if you haven't done it much. And when it comes to being in front of camera and acting and stuff, I did a little bit in junior high, but not so much uh, growing up. Getting into high school, I kind of let a lot of things slide, was more interested in partying and stuff like that. So doing this will definitely get me back into that comfort zone and get me more and get me back comfortable talking to people and all of that. So, yeah, that's an option. Um, I went to like I do every Tuesday, I went to my NA meeting and that was good. I like uh, hearing other people's other drug addicts. Uh, uh, their struggles and even if they're doing good because uh, it helps because I can relate to a lot of that stuff but um, I know I th I'm pretty sure we're going to be making it a topic so I'm going to touch up on it a little bit I had asked the group of uh, brothers because uh, I know a lot of them are in school and you know what if people watching this video can relate to it too drop a comment and I'm sure I'll get uh, well I'm not sure I know for a fact that I'll get through those comments because at the end of the day it'll really help me and um so what i'm getting at is uh legally changed like i don't i've been going uh, by casein for the past three years but i haven't legally changed my name it's a little bit more of a process here uh in canada i really don't know how the process is in american stuff but here i have to uh go get uh fingerprints done and um fill out this paperwork and it takes up to like six months to get that change but I really haven't had the money for it I mean I do but I don't and with me moving around right now and not really having a settled place because uh, I'm going to be moving to Vancouver in a couple months for school kind of makes it harder because I have to get I have to do it through Alberta and right now I'm in Saskatchewan and then I'm going to be going to BC so it's kind of just all of all over the place right now but 
uh, applying for school, getting to the point. If applying for school, I have to uh, go by my legal name and like I know that I have to, but I'm not really comfortable doing it. And so um, I want to know how it was for everybody else who's uh, in the transgender community and involving your name change and applying for school. Like, I know you have to put uh, your legal name on it if you haven't legally changed your name. And uh, so I, I, I guess I, the way I got kind of got the answer that I needed um, for, because I had asked the lady, I emailed her and asked her um, if it's okay that on the record, for the record, it's, I can have my legal name, but like in school and stuff, can the teacher call me by like my preferred name, which is Kason. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, hopefully we're, I'm pretty sure we're making it a topic, so I'm not going to get too much into it. But, yeah, if you have uh, gone through that and are going through that, drop a comment and just kind of let me know how it is. And I could also, and, like, if you do that, I could put it into the actual video when we do make it a topic and just talk and touch a little bit more on it because I don't really have that much information about it, so it would help out a lot if you guys could help me. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Hope everybody had a good Tuesday. My Tuesday's been relaxing and pretty good. So I'll see you guys on the page a little bit more. And if not, I will see you next week.